Hey guys, I don't want to get a bunch of hate mail, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm, this is the Philco 16X. Um, I've done a few videos on testing the speaker with the ATX power supply and uh, yada yada tube search via 6A7, which uh, I've since found um, the chassis number. I can't remember. I'll have to put it on a thumbnail. So we have a, uh, it's, it's a Philco 16X from 1935. Um, really, really cool. I paid a whopping, I don't know if I should say, no, it's 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 beat up. I mean, you know, but I just had to have it. The speaker sounds great. Look at my other videos of me playing uh, a CD player, exciting the coil with it, the ATX power supply and the batteries or whatever. Anyway, yada yada yada. So I know everything's pretty much original. It's had some work done to it. It is a nice transformer here. We got a one, two, three, four, five, six tube set. Wow, that's. Uh, no more than the uh, other radio we got over there. Damn, I got to do another video on that. Anyway, so we found a 6A7 uh, from the uh, Detrola over there. I've got seven or eight two radios. I've got the Dior. Here's the uh, space banner is going as a tube amp right now for the uh, guitar we're using. Anyway, it's late. I'm tired. And... Uh, <sighs> I'm doing it real slow, so let me show you what we got going on here. Um, don't even know which one's hot and neutral in the radio. Haven't looked, just I tied it in. Several wraps in between the two there, of course. And of course, that's going to go around to the Variac. And um, so the dial cord's broken on this guy. Um, give you a quick look underneath, real carefully, real quick. You can see I have an antenna hooked up to a shot glass there. Uh, I'm just going to take a chance on this thing. I don't really care. I'm not ever going to sell it. You know, it, it's mine. Ah, crap. Oh, yes, this thing is heavy. And I don't have a little, do I have a light? Hang on. Yes, I do. Give me one second, guys. I have a light. Let me show you the underneath again in case you haven't seen it. Oh, crap. Anyway, so that's what it looks like underneath. Um, it's had some things replaced there, as you can see, not a lot. Um, I know that you can't fire this up without <sighs> two brain cells. I don't have those, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, do have the speaker hooked up. I know you have to have the speaker hooked up, so let's take a look at that. We're gator clipped over here. Um, to the coil and then here these are the actual voice coil here you know this all needs to be permanently wired yes that's the inverted soundboard they came up with that improved sound a lot um, cover for the tuner um, Philco radio uh, chassis number 29 and 45 so it's one of the two um, we're, we're just going to go for it here, guys. I believe these are the original filter capacitors. I think that's one right there. I'm a little nervous. Um, but we're going to go for it, guys. I have not even checked the tubes. I took the 6A7 there out of the, like I said, out of the Detrola, and uh, we've got a little um, antenna patched on here. I've got it tuned in. Well, the dial cord's gone, but I've got it tuned in for our local strong channel. And we're just going to flip this guy on and see what happens. Oh, this could be bad. could be good. It could be mediocre. Hopefully it will be somewhere between mediocre and good. Otherwise, I'll just erase the goddamn video. Screw it. Uh, maybe I'll post it anyway. So, anyway, here we go. Um, there's Wifey. Hi, Wifey. Say hi. Okay. Um, it's late. We're up late. We have to get up early. Um... Junior over here, let's fire you up and see what happens. That's the uh, cord that I cut. Don't so we're going to flip this on here. Close these st st stupid drawers. And uh, would you hit those two switches? Thank you very much. And let's see what happens here. We've got the Variac at zero. And let's... 
let's just see what happens. Hey, would you turn the, you turn the slider down on the other ones too? Mm -hmm. Just about halfway. Awesome. Thank you, Pops. Cool. Let's see what happens. Let's find a tube here. This is an 80 rectifier. Let's see if you see any anything because I haven't I haven't done anything with this radio. I, I don't think. So let's just uh, let's see if anything goes on with her. I know I shouldn't be doing this. The old capacitors. It's my radio. I don't care. Look at there. I see light. Hang on. The uh, dial light is coming on. Look at there. And so is the other one here, the indicator light. I'll let you know where we are. We are at right now at 25 volts. Now, I don't know what any of the knobs are. I know one of them's tuning, and this one is volume and on. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this all the way up. Uh, I believe this is band and this is tone and this is tuning which is not going to work. I have to do it manually with the wheel here. So let's let's turn the variac up here. <clears throat> Sorry about the darkness. Um, 35, 40, 40 volts. Let's see what we got here. The needle is not going crazy on the variac. 40 volts. Slowly going up, guys. So I don't see any tube action here. I see a tube heater. Yes, I do, I believe. Do you see that? Let me focus for you. Focus. Uh, 70 volts. I hear buzz. I hear buzz from the speaker. We are at about 75. I hear voice. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, guys. Sorry, we're we're gonna go up to we're gonna go ahead and bump up about 90 volts here. Holy crap! It means Vladimir Putin, that old KGB boss, can no longer act like Mr. Big Shot when you're running what John McCain called. Uh, here's some filter capacitor hum there. Size matters. It's hard like it's Vladimir Putin when bit. your nozzle looks you to the world in here. a lot smaller than it once did. Same with the Castro brothers. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about ours. I'm talking about Fidel and Raul, who now have to rely not on their fellow communists in Russia or in Venezuela, but on the yes, kindness yes. of strangers. Otherwise, the United States maybe the United knows. States of America. Yes, cheaper gas makes for strange bedfellows. Yeah, might even get a better deal out of Iran now that their number one source of wealth is not the big dog it used to be. So Sweet. this Christmas, let's thank Santa for stuffing our stocking with something we can use. A little spending Badass. money that would have otherwise. Short, the people hang on. Who didn't mind gouging. Could short and go to pieces at any time. I know, guys, but it's mine, and I don't recommend doing this to anybody. Um, I'm at a place where I could turn everything off remotely if I need to. I've got a remote box for this house. Let's bump it up to 110, what it was meant to run off of. Oh, you can hear the buzz. Maybe we'll stay at 100 volts. Exactly. Let's see what kind of response we got here. Exactly. Wow. What cheap oil will do. Exactly the benefits of it. <laughs> All right, let's and as we have said, besides up. cheaper prices, we keep forgetting about the great, you know. The... I don't know if we're going to pick anything else up or not. I'm getting a slight shock from the grounded um, amp here. I had my arm here and I was touching it here and I was getting a slight shock. There's only two channels on AM you're going to get on broadcast around here, really. So let's see what happens. There's something. I'm going to turn the voltage up a little bit and let's see. Okay, guys, I'm going to turn this uh, video off and I'm going to come back and do some searching on a second video because I'm only allowed to do 10 minute videos on YouTube. I'm, I guess, an amateur with 150 videos, but. All right, guys, I'll uh, be back. Awesome. You you saw it here first, the Philco. All right.